What's going on, everybody? Welcome to episode 20 of the eBay Way, where I show you how to make money, starting with just $50, like we did in episode one that you can click below. So if you're new to the videos, episode one is below. This is episode 20, so you got some catching up to do. So get to it. <laughs> All right, I went out and just went bonkers today. No rules. I'm just like, there were sales at the store I go to. So I just started, and some good stuff. So I just started, blah, 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 blah. So you're going to see a lot of stuff I picked up today, which is awesome. Surprisingly, not that much is sold. Um, out of this eBay Way video series over the last nine days, I did have that pop-up video, episode 19, which I just shot, um, where I spent 77 bucks. Today I went out and I blew $240.25 and uh, got some good stuff, a lot of stuff too. Um, so since the last, not the last video, but the be one before that, where I showed you what was sold, we only sold $234.16. Pretty crappy, especially for that week before Christmas. So I didn't understand that. Today, sales have been crazy so this does not include anything that has sold today and or yesterday so there could be more than just that because the last two days sales have been spot on but um but that takes us down to our running total we started with fifty dollars minus everything i've got here we're at 28.36.75 so a little over twenty eight hundred dollars we have made so far and like I said, I just went crazy today just because there was so much good stuff. I just, who cares? That's the way I went to it. We're so far ahead and eventually want to turn this channel or this series into something bigger. So I just went all the way, went all in today. But we're going to get into the few items that did sell and uh, let you know what they sold for. So let me spin this around. And we'll start off with this little fuzzy Harry Potter creature. Um, paid a 25 or 50 cents for this, don't remember which. Sold for $6.74. We'll get into a new pair of Levi's 560 jeans. Paid $5 for these, sold for $29.99. If you remember that Peppa Pig lot, I don't remember what I got into it. I wouldn't say 5, 10, 11, 12, 13. I don't know, 12 to $15, I think, somewhere in there, sold for $40. I took an offer on that. Some of the all-terrain New Balance sneakers paid $4.50 for, sold for $17.50. Finally sold another one of those snow globes I paid $1 for, sold for $9.99. The Ralston Purina sweatshirt. Uh, four dollars I paid sold for 2701. I love finding stuff like that because everybody else passes them up. Another pair of A6 shoes, 450 paid. Took an offer for $15 on those. These uncomfortable looking women's shoes, four dollars paid. Four or four fifty. They raised the price, so I don't remember what. Which is which? So four to four fifty. Uh, these sold for thirteen oh nine. Got this vintage Fisher Price Dow. This one I bought probably in the first few episodes. I guess it's been a while, so I don't know what I paid for it. Probably a buck or two. Sold for nineteen ninety nine. Another pair of Levi's jeans five fifty nines. Paid five dollars for four or five dollars since they raised their price. 450 or five ones. I don't remember. <laughs> they raised their price. Uh, sold for 12 bucks. Got this vintage Hard Rock Cafe t-shirt. Paid one dollar for. Sold for 12.74. And picked up this with the last video, right? The episode 19, I believe. Uh, got it on clearance, two dollars, and sold for 19.99. And finally, another mug sold. Opryland USA. I don't remember what I paid for it. 50 cents is mugs. That's right. 50 cents and sold for $10 and 12 cents. 
biggity bam so there we are like i said not too much surprisingly close all these windows and move my paperwork out of the way here so we can get into this into it so we got twenty eight hundred dollars plus all of these goodies man was it good where the hell do i start because i don't know where i'm gonna pack this stuff there was all kinds of sales today so i i'm probably just going to give you the normal numbers if i don't know the sale numbers because toys were half off clothes were by the bag i did kind of run those numbers and some of the toys i remember so we're just going to get into a few things here i guess that's anaheim is that, uh anaheim uh angels is it i'm not sure like I said, not a huge baseball person boston red Sox, cool these are all new era hats well those two were and this is a reebok green bay packers hat hats i paid two dollars for at this place but i went ahead and got these just because they're new era they're all in decent condition so i expect to put these up probably for around 20 bucks a piece i found another sony dream machine as I've said before, I love finding these dream machines. Hopefully this one did better than the last. I think the last one I paid three, it only sold it for 11. So that was one of the lower end ones. This one, C2W. So I like that. So let's see what they're selling for. <laughs> 10 bucks. So another kind of duddy dud dud but there's one that sold for 15 that was back in october another one for 15 november 29th so i might squeeze 15 20 bucks out of it i'll put it up for higher and see what happens so oh, let me take this offer real quick sales have been killing it today i'm loving it so let's just see this is a hat camouflage browning hat i've got up for it's a 1577 australia which is 1101 us they're offering ten dollars australia which is 698 us but i will go ahead and take it just because i've got less than 50 cents wrapped up into it bada boom money in the bank and that's all that matters right profit and money in the bank and today has been good i grabbed a few cds that stay up there they're falling all over that stuff i gotta get to it's just i bought these just to throw it well three of these just to throw in the car bon jovi these days mid 90s album bon jovi i'm a huge you know i'm the 80s kid when it comes to music glam metal and stuff but this is a really good album you know i'm not a believer in the whole god thing the way man makes money off of it but uh called hey god or hey god's the first track on it these days but this is a really good one something for the pain uh this ain't a love song these days these days is a killer song i love the feel it's got that mid 90s kind of low-key vibe if you haven't heard this album throw it up on spotify or youtube and check it out i like this album love this album it's very relaxing so i got this to throw in the car i picked up these two johnny cash cds i have not heard these my dad's a huge Johnny Cash fan of the older stuff. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to get these as an homage to my father. And I'm going to throw them in the car and just play them one day. I've been trying to get more into different stuff and deeper into music that I don't really, didn't ever really pay too much attention to. Then I grabbed this Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Heart Club band. I've never been a big Beatles fan myself personally. But I've never really listened to them too much. Of course, I know the hits. But why I bought this one... And I didn't even look it up, but I'll see. It says right here, made in the UK. Now, it's not a Germany, West Germany, or Japan, but made in the UK. I go, well, maybe, maybe that one will have a little bit more value than normal. I guess I need to type in the title to make it easier, at least a word of the title. And nothing came up. 
uh, sold. We got one. So we got one up here. It looks like it's supposed to have a slip case, a cardboard slip case on it. That is not with it, unfortunately. They have it up for 30 bucks, but $16 shipping. What the hell is wrong with that? Oh, it's in Argentina. Uh, yeah, I don't trust Argentina when it comes to stuff because there's a lot of... The whole South America is really wishy-washy, especially when it comes to shipping stuff down there. It's very... A lot of stuff comes up missing there. They don't have a very good postal system there. And the stuff is swiped a lot. So, and I think they're doing a new thing right now where if you send to Brazil, you have to put the the buyer's business number or something on the thing on the postage now. If not, it will be destroyed or something like that. I remember reading. I'm like, what? So, so I'll probably put that up for oof, prices like that. I'll check other sites just to make sure. Just going off of this, not looking at like Discogs or anything right this second. 25 to 30 bucks. So we will see what that'll go up for. I was able to pick up a couple of sealed Supernatural DVD sets. They had one through seven. The other ones were not sealed, but those are not really worth anything. Pay $2 a piece for them. They'll be 10 to $12 a piece. I might put them together since I've upped my standards. If you watch my last video, how I'm going to start doing things now. So these might go together so I can get a higher dollar item for these two may go together i don't know yet i haven't sold picked up these in a while so or listed them or sold them so i'm not even sure what they're selling for nowadays hopefully still some decent money zelda oh not really huh that's really dropped i'll put them i'll put them together in a lot more than likely then so i can squeeze more out of them what is mario Zelda didn't have the book. Mario's at least got the book. Dad, dude, these are not selling for anything anymore, huh? Definitely have to put these up together. Pay two bucks a piece for them. Four dollars. Got into them. Damn. Well, damn, 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 damn. I'll try to squeeze at least freaking, damn, 12 or something out of them. That sucks. I should have looked it up. Uh, am I going to get screwed on this one, too? Maybe I'll put this one in the lot with it these Wii Sports. Damn, still too. Maybe I'll just put them all in a lot for about 15 bucks and say, oh well, what the hell? And usually I don't buy DVDs, especially, but this is not a, eh. see, I took a loss. I'm taking losses on those <laughs> things. God damn it, James, you need to look that stuff up. How dare you? I do got it set on low though and can't always go by the lowest people because some of those are not very good or they're like the declutter and stuff like that or they're not the best of conditions and what have you so I'll definitely look a little deeper before I list those Stop. I didn't know what these were they were three dollars for the whole bag I'm like what the hell are they like three dollars dad why is everything falling are these the the what are they called those little pets i can't remember what they're called no they're not all that i don't know what the heck these are i'll have to get my 2015 mattel but i don't know who they're from Another one. I guess they're all kind of funny. I got a little. It looked like a pet shop friend or whatever, but I don't think that, I think that goes with the girls. Another girl. So I don't know what those are for. I'll have to look those up, get deeper into those, see what we got. Some of this stuff, the way she was ringing up, I'm kind of wonder if she even missed something because she was kind of not really paying attention. So I don't know if I, I got to check the receipt. I don't even know if I paid for these, to be honest with you. I got a Tommy Hilfinger belt and I got a Chaps belt here. 
They're in good condition. I usually don't buy belts, but I didn't even pay attention to the details on the receipt. Uh, Grave digger. I always sell these things, man. Anytime you find these plush monster trucks, they do pretty well, especially if you find more than one, put them in a lot. So, what is he going for? Grave digger plush. Oh, this ain't even grave digger, is it? Son of a digger. Son of a digger. All right, let's see what they're selling for. Somebody's got one for 20. None is sold. 20 with free shipping. So I think I paid... The toys were half off, I don't remember. A couple bucks, dollar, I don't remember exactly. This one I got probably just to throw around here since it looks like my burn. Not really, but it's a St. Bernard, so. I'll probably throw him around here and keep him. Got Maynard here. Dang, everything's falling. Well, I think these were, they considered these stuffed animals. So I may have only paid like 50 cents a piece for these. The grave, son of a digger, and Maynard here. And him. And Thomas the Tank. So, and I got... It's a Build-A-Bear, but carrying golf. He's got the hat and everything, so... Should be able to get some decent money out of him. stuff here Let's, I didn't look it up I got it for a buck I'm like I ain't leaving that behind so Hot Wheels Snoopa especially with a decent card on it yeah I paid a dollar for it they have them up for about five so what are they selling for well that one sold for ten so there you go ten 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 uh, free shipping, free shipping, five bucks, five to ten dollars. Let's just call it that. This I know I paid a buck for. Doctor Who doesn't work, needs batteries. Price tag on it says thirty-four dollars though. I only paid a dollar. Looks like somebody scanned it though because it's kind of already pushed up. Probably that re other reseller guy that was got into the argument. I went in, if you watched the video, last video where uh, talking about that other reseller and his drama queen situation. I asked her, I'm like, has he been back in? Is he, you know, any crap's been happening? She's like, no, he's like real stealth, like he's in and out. He hasn't bought anything or nothing. So, ah, 10 to 12 bucks. So, eh. I only paid a buck for it, so it's going to work. I should have had all these toys before Christmas. But no. No. All right, let's go. Got a pair of Adidas for $4. $4. Four dollar. Four dollar. I don't think any of the shoes are on sale today. A uh, pair of New Balance. $4. Four dollar. Four dollar. And a pair of... Six for four dollar. Four dollar. Four dollar. I got these. If you find any of these phones, man, look them up because nine times out of ten, you're going to get some good money out of these phones. This is for uh, Gina in the office. Paging Gina. Gina to the office, please. Um, on the main level, I did find two of these. I paid four dollars a piece for them. They're going for about 20 a piece. So I think I'm probably gonna put them in a lot together and put them up for about 40 bucks, 45 bucks, and uh, see what happens. Cause a lot of people, when they get these phones, they want more than one. So that's the one good thing when you find a bunch of them. And a lot of times you can find boxes of these with, you know, six or seven of the same phones because a company like changed out their phone systems and they'll donate all their old phones They'll have all the intercom and stuff. And if you can find them like that, buy the whole box because you can probably sell the whole box. So I'll be back. I gotta grab some stuff.
Dude, wait till you see what I got over here. Good Lord. James, what did you get? <laughs> Something I had when I was a kid, just a different color. But uh, let's get back into this. Check this out. I saw this. I'm like, all right, there's got to be something to this. Uh, it had 15 bucks on it. And uh, check it out. So it's a big ass board. Robot Joe. But it's magnetic. I think it's magnet. I think those are magnets. I'll have to get us something that's magnetic and throw it on here. Make sure those are magnets. But, uh. That's kick ass, ain't it? I, uh, it's Bombay Company. Um, I couldn't find none on eBay or anything. Or, uh, did I check Worth Point? I don't remember. So I Googled it and I found somebody had one that sold on offer up and it sold for a hundred bucks. So biggity bam. Kick ass. That's gonna go great. And if a kid don't get it, an adult's going to get that for their damn toy room. I'm telling you right now. Because that's kick-ass. So. Love that. Now you see why I went crazy today. I didn't even look these up. I paid a buck for these. I didn't even know what they were. I threw them in the cart and was going to look them up. And uh, didn't. Is it something to do with Frozen? I don't know. It's got these little... Another one in here somewhere, I think. Oh, no, they, I guess those aren't frozen. Those are like some little ghosts or something. Uh, I'll have to look for names on those. Let's see if it tells me. Manufactured by Moose. Don't know. Don't know. Won't waste your time looking those up right now. Um, got these dirt ass cheap. Two bucks a piece for these. I didn't look them up for two bucks a piece. I just grabbed them. So Team Stacy, Barbie. Let's see what she's doing. This one has one up for twenty three with free shipping. Sold thirty nine dollars with thirteen shipping. That sold December twenty third. Nice twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. I'll make something on it. That was a new listing, this twenty three seventy seven. So I'm going to bump it up to 29 and just wait for that one to sell and try to get the higher dollar out of it. We got team new, TV News Team. Paid $2 for these. Uh, I can't scan that one. It's got a generic barcode over it. So let me type this one in real quick. TV News Team. Good day today. Good day. Fifteen bucks. Fifteen dollar. I make you holla. Nineteen ninety. So fifteen to twenty bucks. That works for me. All right. Baker Barbie, baby. <laughs> Baker Barbie. Okay, bam. Sold twenty dollars. $41. So I'll probably put it up for about $22. Another $2. God, I love going to thrift stores. Man. Why I went crazy today, more or less, is because... I had to get new tires and battery for my Scat Pack Shaker Challenger. And it was like 1200 bucks. So I'm like, screw this. Going thrifting because when I spend that kind of money on something, I like going crazy on thrifting to make my money back. So that today is not like a total loss, if you know what I mean. So this 39 48 with free shipping on both of those. 59 with free shipping. 49 with free shipping. Mine does have a little bit of damage. So hopefully I can squeeze 40 bucks out of it. 
sweet. She flips. She lands. It's gymnastic, flipping, fun gymnastic Barbie. <laughs> All right, let's see. let me turn this QR code scanner. Thirty bucks. Thirty bucks. Thirty bucks. Thirty bucks. Thirty bucks. All day long. Thirty bucks. Not dear dollars. Nap and nurture nursery. The hell are they teaching these girls nowadays just how to pump out babies? No. I hate people who raise their kids, their girls to just have to depend on a male. It just makes me sick. You gotta be a good husband. You gotta have those babies and cook that food and make them sandwiches. You gotta get your stuff together so you don't have to depend on nobody. Because when you depend on somebody, that's when it usually turns ugly. And then you're at their beck and call. So, yeah, I'm not for that at all. This thing's all over the place. Sold 30, 60, 40, 44, 40, 36. Any way it goes, I'm going to get some good money out of it. Let's just put it that way. thing back out of the way here. A couple more little plush I picked up. I didn't look that up from Sesame Street. It's probably like a quarter for that one. And another St. Bernard. So I'll probably keep that too. I uh, picked up this purse. I think I looked it up. I think it was about 20, I think. 25. So I don't remember exactly. It's called uh, Roberta Gandor Gandelafor Gandelafi. Oh, made in Italy. Italy. It's almost like real feeling. There you go. I'll let you read it. All right. So, so about twenty twenty. And purses I paid four dollars for. Unless I, they were on sale, I don't think they were. Get into some clothes here. Uh, Four dollars for shorts. But I don't think they were on sale. But bum equipment. If you're from the '80s and that, you remember bum. So I had to get the jorts. Actually, what size are these? Thirty-eight. A little too big for me. So had to get those. And then I saw these, and I just looked at the. All I saw was this, and I just grabbed them because I'm like, whatever. They're only four bucks. New with tags, 65 from the store. So some PGA Tour shorts. Like, hell yeah. I'll go for that all day long. All right, let's get into some stuff here. This is a vintage Michelob Light Racing Team shirt. Check out that old Hanes tag. And look at the condition. It's like brand new. I don't think anybody's wore that. Paid $1 for that. I didn't look this up. Uh, vintage, obviously. Santana. I don't know if that's Carlos or not. But check out that print. Very vintage. So that's got to be, hopefully, an easy $25 bucks right there. Uh, these shirts I... I think four bucks I paid for them. A dollar t-shirt, keep calm, eat bacon. Nike basketball shirt. Had to get this one for a dollar. <laughs> so, had to do that. That's funny. It's a weird one. Vintage St. Louis Cardinals t-shirt, one buck. From 2004, Simon and Garfunkel Old Friends Tour. This would be about $25 for this concert tee. Not bad at all for one dollar. Uh, 
I think I pay four dollars for this North Face jacket 2XL but the cool thing about this is it's branded with wild turkey American honey so the fact that it's North Face you'd probably get what about 20 25 bucks the fact that it's got that on the sleeve, I might be able to get a little bit more out of it because nobody else may have one up. So I'll price it up there. Uh, U.S. Air Force jacket. Uh, four or five bucks I pay. I think five bucks, I think, for jackets. So this is an older one. So I'll probably put this up for... And it's got reflective, too. You can see it reflecting a little bit. So that might be about $25, $30 I'll put that up for. Got this blue jacket. So that'll probably be about a $25 piece there. Jan threw these on the counter at the last second, so I didn't look them up. So hopefully they're good. Blank seven jeans? I don't know. Hopefully they're good. I didn't look those up. So. And and uh, oh, stay. and then I got this vintage. Deco custom crafted garment, like a ski outfit, or a, almost like a ski outfit or a work outfit for working outside in the winter. Kick-ass vintage piece. I couldn't find this. I did a quick search in the store. Couldn't find nothing on it. Kept wanting to change the name Daco to Deco. So there was nothing up. So I don't know what this is going to be worth. I'm hoping around 50 being it's vintage and it's in very good condition. So I'll push for around 50 and see what happens. Man, that's kick ass. All right, but I'm not there yet. This stuff I was able to shove into the bag for $25. So all these pieces came out to $1.66 a piece. So let's see what I got. A Cardinals jersey pretty cool no name so this will probably go up for about 25 bucks i was just grabbing stuff so apartment nine oh i think jan wanted this she picked up a few pieces that she wanted for herself so i think that's hers that's hers um Tommy Bahama. I love that color. So dollar sixty six. J Crew. Jan put this in the bag. So a J Crew piece. Dollar sixty six. I ain't complaining. What we got here. I was rolling these things up small as I could. This is vintage. 1991 Wichita, Kansas, Miss USA. And there's the screen stars, vintage tag. Nothing on the back, long sleeve. This was a cool chaps. Ralph Lauren jacket. Pull over. But uh, this was uh, in a tub that they were, they go through to put stuff on hangers and put out. So I dug through the tub to pull anything out that get first hands on things. And this was the only thing really in there I figured that was worth it that could uh, fit into my bag. That would be good. So boom. But it smells like smoke. That's going in. Ugh, that's going in into the wash right now because that's stinky Ugh. the smell of cancer in the morning okay chico's this is like a two-piece new with tags 
48 marked down to 33 with tags. It's like, it's like heavy duty. It's either lined or two pieced. It's two pieces. Kick ass. So with that, let's see what this is. Jan got this. Laura Ashley. I don't know. I don't know. I guess she might have looked that up. Dollar sixty-six. She yeah, she said she looked this up too. Ann Taylor Petites. Silk. That's why she got it. So silk shirt. Dollar sixty-six. Got the St. Louis Zoo Cumberbund. Kind of cool. All right. I guess I was rolling stuff up to get them in this bag. I looked this up. And this brand I never heard of, but they were selling for like 25 bucks. It is called Ivory Ella. It's got a little elephant. But I love the whole color palette on this. I'm like, that's cool. That's got to be something, right? Only cost me a buck sixty-six, so I'll take that all day long. Didn't even look at this. We saw <laughs> this was in that tote tub too, and Jan pulled this out. She just saw that. She's like, "You can get this in the bag." I'm like, "I can get that in the bag." So yeah, one hundred eighteen dollar retail. That's kind of cool. I see you. I see you. That's cool, actually. 30, 32% silk. Dang, I actually... Hey, now. I should wear this thing. Don't mind me being all flashy out here. Uh, this was... Uh, Cashmere. Cashmere. Been selling a lot of cashmere stuff lately. Saffron, 100% cashmere. So soft, so soft. Dollar sixty-six. I knew she had more pants and stuff. She grabbed. She like throw this in the bag. Oh yeah, Ivanka Trump. I sold one pair of her shoes so far. Sold for good money. So some nice black pants. Stuff always feels good quality, so that's a good thing. So, hopefully they're worth something. And then these, she grabbed these. I'm like, hell yeah, grab those. So it's Ralph Lauren, purple Ralph Lauren, but check it out. Got the polo on the back pocket. I'm like, I ain't gonna look those up. Those are kick ass. Those are going straight into my bag. Dollar sixty six. Rolled this bitch up. I saw this. I'm like, I'm getting this into the bag. Vintage Reebok. Right? Check it. Kick ass. Huge Reebok following out there, especially vintage stuff. There's a bunch of Facebook. I'm in a couple of them groups for Reeboks. So, good stuff. Good stuff. Now, we're going to get into these items. I guess if I wear this too long, I can't sell it as new, can I? All right, let's get you for a snag you or something. All right. Got a mountain up in here. All right, this. I paid up for this. Longenberger. Longenberger. Uh, used to be worth a lot of money. Uh, how I know is because my wife used to collect it. And, uh... When eBay first started and into the two, early 2000s, you could still get decent money out of Longenberger. Now you got to be very picky. But this is from, I believe, oh, 81, I believe. 84. 84. Has this on the top, which is kind of cool. It does have the uh, riser in it. This is for pies. Would you like an apple pie? Um... There were some without a lid selling for, let's see, I paid 28 bucks for it. Yeah, I paid up. 
but there was one that sold without a lid, I think, or had a plain lid. I don't remember which one. Had They had it for 60 They took an offer on it. So I'm thinking I'm pushing. I'm going to hope pushing towards 75 on this. We'll see. I paid up for it, so I've got to get my return out of that. So, And then if you see on the back, Longer Burger, and they write the dates and stuff on it, handwritten. So pretty good find. This piece, paid 15 bucks for it. And I didn't look it up to see what it's worth. The cool thing is I've got one of these personally boxed up. I haven't got my whole, I haven't set my stereo up since I came into this, since I moved my office up here from in the basement. But this is a CD burner recorder. You put one CD in, put the blank in, hit a button, and it burns it quick. Uh, so I, I remember when I got mine, they were expensive. So I was like, I threw it in the cart and walked down. Because this was the first thing I found. So I forgot to go back in and look it up. Because it was at the bottom of the cart. So... I figured it was going to be worth the risk. So let's see. $49. And yeah, $49, $20 shipping. Parts and repair, not so much. $35. $65, $59. So yeah, $87 with the remote, though. Don't have the remote with this one. So we'll push it. Uh, 50 to 60 on it so pretty good I have to make sure it works first and then my cool piece oh well first I, I did pick this up for myself <laughs> I was gonna put it in here somewhere blue light with a siren light but this paid $25 for this piece I had one of these when I was a kid and I used to sit on it and ride it Wasn't this one? It was similar. It was a Tonka car carrier. Mine was white. This one's from 1958. Um, they, there's two listed. It's 100, 125. I think the other was a, right at 100. If I remember correctly, they were in. A little bit rougher shape. I don't remember for sure though. But uh, pretty cool. I loved this when I was a kid, man. I would sit on this and ride around the house. <laughs> I had the cars and everything too then. But had to get that. Some dude saw it in my car. He's like, oh man, I can't believe you found that. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I found that. So kick ass right here. Love it. Got the little notches, the tires for the cars sit in so they don't roll off. Got the uh, where is that? There it is. Now you can lower that down to drive the cars on. Same layout as my white one I had when I was a kid. So I love this. Love it. Not too bad a condition either. Mine had the white wall tires and everything, so I'm not sure what year mine was as a kid. Definitely it was not a 58. It was probably more of the 60s. It had a different style of cab than this one. So, because that's an older school cab. So, kick ass right there. I think that's it. That's a lot of stuff. For just 240 bucks. Yeah, 240.25. Yeah, that's it. I did find me some shoes. Because I did a Plato Plato's Closet gig. Got me some personal shoes for my collection. That'll be coming up in another video. So there we are. That's everything. I'll be listing this stuff hopefully tomorrow. Because I think I'm gonna take a break tonight, go rest my feet because they are hurting. And pretty kick-ass haul, very much so. So hopefully we get some good sales on this stuff. So, all right, thanks everybody for watching. That is where we are at. Man, exciting day, exciting day.
cannot wait for this stuff to sell. So thanks everybody for watching. Please like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll catch you later.